The trust was originally formed to preserve the flow and the purity of the waters from the western rivers. This has been severely impacted upon by the establishment of tree plantations on the world famous Mole Creek car system. Uh, this is doing untold damage to the system on the plantations that have already been established. As you can appreciate, cast systems are underground, so you cannot monitor what happens underground. All we can see is the side effects, i.e. the, the siltation, uh, the flooding, the collapse of systems, sinkholes appearing in paddocks where they weren't there before. And we're trying to stop this and the, the chemicals that are flowing into our water supplies that everybody drinks. All these chemicals flow underground. People might have bores or the, the water reappears in, in the form of a stream. So these chemicals can get transported a long way and it affects a lot of people. Basically you remove the native vegetation and instead of water slowly filtering through the soil and into these car systems, um, you remove the vegetation so you get massive amounts of water flowing through the car system which is doing a lot of destruction. I live at South Moore Creek on the Western Tears. Probably uh, my land would drain into the lower end of uh, Moore Creek along the flats at South Moore Creek. But I've owned land up there since the beginning of the 80s and I saw logging that didn't put a plantation in that went on up there and that severely affected the little water courses and they, they just used one as a um, loading bay and it ran oil for months. Most of these chemicals are banned overseas, you know, atrazine and simazine is banned in the uh, EU. Um, we have chemicals like Turbosil, which is banned in, in the States. These chemicals are cancer causing um, in, the, in relation to atrazine and simazine. Um, Turbosil is a chemical that actually causes birth defects, low conception rates, low birth rates. Um, we've experienced this at Western Creek where we actually monitored chemicals that left the plantation and entered a water supply. Um, the lambing percentage of the sheep which were drinking that water um, were only 10%, which is just unheard of. And there were a lot of stillbirths and a lot of the sheep didn't even conceive. It's taken three years for these chemicals to actually leach out of the soil. And um, this year, uh, the property had approximately 140% lambing. Which is, but it's three years of being exposed to these nasty chemicals. We are monitoring all the creeks and rivers that flow through the system. We've had them independently tested in Sydney for chemicals. Um, the chemicals actually on the Mole Creek car system have, have been shown to be chemical free. Um, this is different to Western Creek where we actually found chemicals. And basically we've taken on a different front. We've had have contacted the timber companies which refused to talk to us but we placed an ad in the financial review um, putting the shareholders and guns on notice that we have tem tested this waters and as soon as we detect chemicals in our water supply we will be suing them. Um, that has had a, a, a positive effect. We've had a major shareholder come down from Sydney who actually owns 15% of guns shares um, they were in shock of, of what they saw. They couldn't believe the destruction and damage to such a beautiful place as what we've got here. Plantation establishment and the conversion of farmlands to plantations through the tax investment scheme, i.e. the management investment schemes, it is ethnic cleansing of the rural population. Once you, you lose, in our area around here, we've lost approximately 70% of our farmland to plantations. This affects the schools, the shops, the mailmen, the bloke serving petrol. Once you get down below that level, where all those businesses, it's uneconomical to survive, they collapse. So basically what we're seeing here is people being moved out of the country, plantations established, through, just through a tax advantage, no benefit to the community whatsoever, heaps of negatives, the destruction the log trucks do on our roads, the bridges, etc the pollution from the chemicals, the pollution from the soil and our water, the removal of infrastructure, the lowering of our, our rate base, 
plantations ca companies come in and I've seen a hundred thousand dollar rotary dairy that was only established four years ago bulldozed because they remove that asset, asset base for the infrastructure so they lower their rates they don't have to pay rates the car system is, is world famous for, it, for its beauty and this is a huge drawing card for tourists in, in this area. People come from all over the world to see these caves. These things have been in, in, in situation for you know, hundreds of years and you're changing the whole geography of the place. Due to our actions here forming Western Rivers, there has been community groups formed in Golden Valley, which is another town, small town around on the Tiers, in Liffey and in Blackwood Creek. Um, these are all local people that have been here for their families have been here for generations and they're all standing up and fighting and we're all working together we all exchange information and it is like a big mushroom effect it is growing and growing daily it's given the community a, a focal point somewhere to fight somewhere to seek information somewhere to seek help somewhere to have their voice heard whereas before the voice has been stifled we've stopped the chemicals um, Guns bought a, an ex-dairy farm approximately 12 months ago now. They started to rip out the fences, etc., getting ready for plantation establishment. After we placed our ads in the, in the Fin Financial Review and, a, and the local paper in Launceston, they've stopped development of that farm. And that was quite a large area. Um, it was over a thousand acres. So they're worried that we We'll find chemicals and we will sue them. So local people can have an effect on their local areas.